It's the great Star Trek legacy lie. It's the lie they told of the Strange New Worlds. We are getting legacy. And one of the actors has come out recently and basically said as much. Welcome to Star Trek, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So I did a video uh, last week talking about how there was an agreement now between um, Paramount and Amazon on how to fund Star Trek Legacy. I got called a liar several times by people that have actually worked on the show, even though those people didn't actually watch the video. And one of the things I have actually now been saying for a year is that Star Trek Legacy was always going to happen. Helmet goes without saying to ignore everything he just said. I usually do. It was a matter of when, not if. Why do I say that? Because Paramount have done it before and Secret Hideout. Let's actually blame Secret Hideout. Yeah, let's do that. Secret Hideout have done it before. So, with Strange New Worlds, that was touted by the creators of Secret Hideout and Paramount, this big fan success. They did the second season of um, Star Trek Discovery. We had the Enterprise, we had Pike, we had this whole crew. We had new actors playing Spock, etc. We then got about a two-year gap. But in that time, there was this massive campaign. The campaign was to get Strange New Worlds. And then when it was greenlit, it was hailed as a success of the fans Secret Hideout, who has not got the best reputation, let's be honest, were able to throw up their hands and go, you wanted it? Then we're going to give it you because we love you. We love you, Trekkies. Please stop hating Alex Kurtzman. We're giving you Strange New Worlds. Now, it did work. Strange New Worlds has been very popular and it has not harmed Secret Hideout or Paramount's reputation. But they're doing it again. Bunch of ne'er-do-wells and rule breakers, really. What could possibly go wrong? Does anybody really think that Paramount and Secret Hideout would have allowed Terry Metalis to do so much development work and to set up and to tease Star Trek Legacy in the way he did if they didn't intend to do the series? In the same way that do you really think they actually set up season two of Discovery with Captain Pike, this actor that actually was already very popular at the time, to actually go as far as designing a new set of the Enterprise, creating a new digital version of the Enterprise, etc. And to go through so much effort of setting up that series, not to do it. They're not complete morons, mostly. So, of course, the plan was always to do Star Trek Legacy. And now, thanks to Sidetrack dropping another exclusive on your asses, I can tell you that a plan is in place on how to fund it, because that really is the only problem for Secret Hideout and Paramount right now, paying for it. But which actor has come out and actually spoken about this, and what did they say? Michelle Hurd plays Raffi, a character that, I don't mind. This is an actress, actually, that's been in a few things I've watched over the last few years. I didn't really know much about her five years ago, so, but she's done a few things. And she's a good actress. The character is a bit all over the place for me at times, but it's very cool. She's going to be Seven of Nines, number one. But what has she said in an interview in the last few days? If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment and all those things. But also go and check us out on patreon.com forward slash sidetrack. Most of our videos do premiere there first. This video actually premiered nearly 10 hours before it did on YouTube. And a lot of our videos actually premiere 24 hours before they do on YouTube. So go over, check that out. I love Raffi. She's my favorite character, Heard explained. We have our hands, fingers, everything cost for Star Trek Legacy. I know that right now they're working on Section 31 for Michelle Yeoh. Yes, that is filming right now. And then they're going to be doing Starfleet Academy, Star Trek 90210. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Yay. Spin-off from Discovery. Um, and then, if the fans still want it, they'll start working on Star Trek Legacy. If the fans still want it, they'll start working on Star Trek Legacy. Now, that isn't saying if the fans still want it, they might do Legacy or something else. That's basically 
taken the party line. Paramount want to again sell Star Trek Legacy as them listening to the fans. And it will be a huge Trekky success. We're doing this because we love you. We love you, Trekkies. Please stop hating Alex Kurtzman. This is a subtle plan, but it's obvious. And if anybody out there really believes the Star Trek legacy isn't planned and hasn't been planned for two years, you really need to look at what Paramount and Secret Hideout have done before. This is quite a clever plan in lots of ways, because in lots of ways, Trekkies don't like Alex Kurtzman. The Star Trek fandom is very divided, and this is a way to bring it together. But there might be a problem. Terry Metalis is hailed as the man that brought us Picard Season 3. Hell, set a course for Metalis system, maximum warp, tactical, ready torpedoes and phases. He is hailed as the man that actually gave us our favourite series of Star Trek in a very long time. And he might not be available to do this. He has signed on to, for a couple of projects over at Disney and Fox, and he might be too busy. But they may have a plan B, and that plan B is Jonathan Frakes. He is already front and centre on lots of projects. He's directing a load of Strange New Worlds, and I hear that he will be the main man if they bring back Legacy. He will obviously be directing and probably appearing to a degree, but actually there will be another showrunner working with him, and that basically he will be sort of a co-showrunner. So let's see what happens. I'm hoping Terry Metalis' schedule isn't as full as it looks, if you look at his IMDb, because I am absolutely certain if he is able to do this, and if Paramount phone him, he will be in a taxi and round to Paramount Studios instantly. That's fingers crossed that they do get him and they do get Jonathan Frakes and they get really a dream team that they got for Picard season three because Terry Metalis does understand what particularly us slightly older Trekkies want. And some people call that fan service. I say, given the fans what they want is just sensible business <laughs> because when on earth did it become a bad thing to actually make your customers happy? But well, guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Do you agree with me and the sources that I've spoken to that this was always the plan, that we really shouldn't be worrying about Star Trek Legacy because it's definitely 100% happening? And like our Rafi said, as soon as they're done with Academy, they will start working on Legacy. Or do you think, no, we've not been lied to. We will only get Legacy if we make enough noise. And don't get me wrong, we need to do that too. Because Paramount needs to be confident, actually, that enough people do want to watch Legacy, which is a, probably another reason why they do this. They sort of, you know, tease us with it, and then we have a campaign, and that gives them then plenty of evidence to sort of figure out how many people will then watch the show when it comes on. So it's not a bad way to get that metadata that they all seem so desperate for nowadays. But is it honest? Is this actually something we're only going to get if we make a big enough noise? Get into the comments and tell me what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos do premiere first and you get to see them without the adverts, you lucky bunnies. Also, you can go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website, and we do articles based on a lot of our videos. We try to add a little bit more information there for you to digest too. So go check that out. As always, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.